This is, um, I've done about six talks. This is my last one with this voice the whole week. <laughs> it started like this. <laughs> so I'm Henrik, and welcome to this uh, one hour dose of Scrum blasphemy. Right? We're going to talk about what to do when Scrum doesn't work. Bit of a sensitive topic for Scrum trainers, and I actually am a Scrum trainer, which gives me the excuse to make fun of Scrum trainers. <laughs> Um, quick background, uh, I'm, I'm a coach, I help companies improve, and uh, uh, Scrum is one of the toolkits that I use, but sometimes things don't turn out as planned, so I'm going to talk a little bit about pretty much typical things that you might, or how you might think if you're, noti if you're noticing that Scrum is not working. Um, this is the one minute summary of Scrum. I'm assuming most of you know, but I'm just going to give you the one minute summary, um, which is pretty much Scrum in a nutshell. Split your organization into, t into teams. Split the thing you're going to build into pieces so you don't build it all at once. Um, split time into sections, right? Sprints, iterations. And then uh, opt order these pieces by some kind of notion of business value and then uh, implement, take a cross-functional self-organizing team and have them pull one little piece at a time, work on that for this specific time period, and then release something, look at it, learn from it, and do it again, right? So inspect and adapt, do one piece at a time, learn as we go, improve as we go, adapt this, and most importantly, do retrospectives and improve our process as well, right? So we're adapting the product, we're adapting the process. Um, so it, in summary, instead of having a large group spending a long time building a huge thing, Scrum is really about uh, having a small team spending a little time building a small thing, but integrating regularly to see the whole. This is the, the, the thinking behind Scrum, right? Re regardless of all the roles and artifacts and details. Okay, so how many here have been involved in a Scrum project? Which is just about everybody. Hey, keep your hands up. Everybody except one. Okay, oh, two. <laughs> Have you seen cases where the general opinion was Scrum isn't working for us? Hands up. That would be about half. That's interesting. About half of the group. Yeah, Scrum isn't working for us. Um, so there's like like a doctor. You don't want to just you know start the treatment without doing a diagnosis, <laughs> right? So I'm going to give you a, a guideline, a set of uh, five different things you might check for in order, just like a good doctor, right? And we're going to go through each one. Using the process wrong blaming the messenger, being impatient, uh, not adapting the process.